All right, it's to, um, it's time for me to do the infamous walkthrough that I've been talking about <laughs> for the past month or so. Um, I honestly, I it's like I just have to film it at some point because I I want to do more in here before I film it, but it's holding me back at this point because there's other videos I want to film, but I'm like I can't film other videos until I get this walkthrough over with. I'm not wearing a shirt, it's too hot, I'm in Florida, um, I'm, realistically, I don't wear shirts often in the summer in Florida, it's 100 degrees every day, you know what I mean, so, I could put a shirt on and get some sort of farmer tan, but that's, I'd rather just be evenly tan, that's why I hardly ever wear a shirt in Florida in the summer, I, I live outside, you know what I mean, um, and I don't know, to me, people are always like, you got to put a shirt on or put some suntan lotion on. I'm like, dude, it, it, it'll be some someone who it, they're like gray. <laughs> like they spend 99% of their life sitting under fluorescent lights telling me the sun is unhealthy. Bro, I, I feel fine in the sun. The sun doesn't bother me. I've been working in the sun my whole life. I, it, it, you know. Uh, thank God for the sun. I love the sun. I love the feel of the sun. I like to be tan. I don't know, man. I, I don't get these people. They're literally... This guy, he looked like he's been in a coffin. <laughs> and he's telling me how unhealthy the sun is. And I'm, uh, I'm like, glowing. Like, uh, yeah, I'm sweating. It's hot, bro. Look, you know. Anyways, this video is about... Uh, I'm gonna walk y'all through my car, so, and show y'all <coughs> um, everything I built into it. I'm, I guess I'm not gonna go into super duper close detail in this one, or maybe I will, we'll see what ends up happening, but I, I, I would like to film a video when I get it all neat and clean and everything is where I want it, where I, I'll go through like every, everything in great detail, but We'll see how it ends up turning out. So I'm gonna start in the front. Um, let me switch the camera. Oh man, I should have grabbed a tripod. Hold on. Y'all can look at my dashboard while I grab my little tripod here. Um, hold on, I got it. All right, let me put this, hold on. Damn, bro, hold on. <laughs> All right, is this gonna, yeah. That'll work. All right, so we got, I'm starting off the same way I started off um, my original, the first time I did a walkthrough in my uh, original build. There's St. Christopher, patron saint of travelers. And then you got that St. Michael, who is the patron saint of war, basically. Um, and then this thing, someone sent me this. It's copper, and I think it's supposed to be good luck. It's got a little anchor on the back of it. This, um, that's just the laughing Buddha that, come, that comes um, when you buy a pair of true religion jeans. And then this is uh, my Italian horn and my cross. Uh, you know, I'm not like a super duper devoted Catholic, but I was raised Catholic. It's the culture I come from, and I still rep it to this day. My front seat is just a wreck. I mean, th this is one of the things that I was reluctant to film today because I just have a pile of stuff there. Um, these uh, microfiber towels, I don't know if you've ever had them, but they're amazing. Like, they take up way less space than a normal towel, and they're at least as absorbent or maybe more absorbent. Um, this is like my gym bag when I go to the, take a shower at the gym. And this is my backpack. I, I've had this since I was homeless. Um, it's not the first backpack I had when I was homeless, but it's, uh, it's the one that um, I spent the last maybe seven years or so homeless with that backpack. All my power tools are down here. That's my hammer drill, grinder, impact driver. There's a sawzall back there. Um, whoops. 
you can see that this, that is my Sawzall. Um, and then there's my, uh, can you see? Yeah, I gotta do laundry. Oh, here's the bike seat. I took off my bike. I switched the seat on my bike. There's my skill saw. I mean, I've got every, every, I, I, I've got everything I need to build a house, literally, in the back of my car. I've got this, this sword up front, which needs work. I'm cutting this off it. I'm going to do a new hilt and handle and all that. This is, I got two of these off of Amazon for 20 bucks. You can't beat it, bro. It's just a blank. I mean, you can u use it as it is, but... I'm using them as blanks to make them into... It's actually a ninja sword. It's not a samurai sword. Ninja swords are straighter and shorter. Uh, I believe that even says ninja sword. <laughs> but uh, I'm cutting it up and turning it into a nice, um, a nicer sword. There's the back. I'll take y'all back there right now. There's the... I carved that top samurai sword, which is wood. But, uh... I'm re... That's being remodeled, too. Um... I gotta keep a pair of vice grip pliers up front. Because... One of the mechanics who worked on my car broke the handle off to get the hood open. So, I use these. Um... I use these to do it. So that's why those are there. They're there permanently. Um, there's my sunroof, which is, I got a screen for it, which is held in place by magnets. Um, the problem with that is when it rains, this sticks to the window and just pulls, it pulls the screen out of place. Um, I'll show you all from the top. Yeah, it's looking a little messy right now because it rained. Um, there's the solar panel, 180 watts, Bouge RV, solar panel, um, but, yeah, there's the screen that keeps the bugs out for the most part. I've got screens on all my windows, you can get them off Amazon, they're not expensive, um, they're definitely worth whatever you pay for them, to be honest, but so, this is my refrigerator, which is just like a cheap Chinese one. Um, it's worth it's worth the two hundred dollars or so that I paid for it. This I bought at Target, and it was brown. I painted it black, and I took the drawers out and cut my own drawers and covered them in camouflage tape. The reason I put my own drawers in there is so they'll open either way, so they open towards the outside, um, or or the inside, you know what I mean? So they open either way. Um, oh, this drawer is like speakers and stuff like that from my, from my laptop. Man, what is hitting? Hold up, that is bothering me, wait a minute. Um, I'm gonna have to edit that out. I was getting pissed. I've got to actually do a little more remodel in here. I gotta cut a piece of wood over here and shift everything that way a little. Because this thing is kind of being pushed that way. Um, I leave this drawer open so that the refrigerator compressor can get air. You don't want this getting hot. I mean, it's gonna be warm especially when you're in Florida and it's 100 degrees and the refrigerator is trying to keep things around 40 to, you know. So, you got to give the compressor room to breathe, basically. Um, there's my portable solar panels, which I got that for free. A company sent me that panel and a generator and... All I had to do was make a YouTube video about it and say what I thought about it. And it's a good generator and it's a really good panel. Um, <clears throat> so, um, that panel is, there's the wire. I run it over the water thing so it's not hanging. 
and it's attached to that generator. That's the Vito Man 1500. Um, it's at 67 now. It's pulling in 176 watts, which is not bad. Um, there's my other generator. It is at 86%. It's pulling in 117. And that is pulling from the solar panel on the roof. There's my coffee maker, paper towels. Um, my orange spray for battling mosquitoes. These, I use to clean dishes if I don't have um, access to a sink. Um, there's my skateboard. It's uh, Jeremy Nibs. He's a pro skater out of Tampa. And, uh, I mean, I've spent half my life living around Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater, so that's the skateboard I bought. Um, oh, wait, let me move this stuff. That's, uh, you know, my coffee pot, coffee cup. Um, that is my water supply. It's just one of those pump, you know, you pump it and it, uh, you got running water. Um, this is my drinking water, which I usually refill. I'll buy a gallon and just pour water in it. Um, this is a fan that's so... The people are always asking, like, how do you um, not cook in the Florida heat? I've got multiple fans. There's one fan. There's another fan. I've got two other fans. It's just fans. It's all you can do. I leave the, wind I leave the windows down. I've got those screens. So it keeps the air flowing pretty good. Um, so, wait, maybe I should do this first. Wait. Let me um, get this out the way and show y'all how this works so this table folds down then I got this um, shelf that I built to hold coffee and all that stuff um, that's like sugar coffee potato chips apple um, and then under that table is my swords that is my ninja sword that's my samurai sword i actually carved this out of wood um y'all want to see it real quick it's it's good it, it it needs some work but um i carved it out of a stick hold on set y'all up right here um wait Alright, so you can see my sword. Alright, so this um I carved this out of a stick, stained it. Um I'm gonna redo the handle and I'm going to carve a leopard or maybe a wasp here. I'm not sure yet. And I might carve something in there. We'll see. Um and the sheath is just uh it's this thing I just wrapped it in. Um, and then in the sword. Is, um, that needs to be installed. I gotta cut this off, put this on, cut some wood for the handle. I'm gonna cut. That's getting cut off. I'll do the handle in wood and stingray leather and then wrap it just like a real ninja sword. Um, but yeah, Ninja Sword is short and straight. Samurai Swords are, um, longer and curved, but you can tell it's a Ninja Sword because it's so short and it's straight. Um, but yeah, it needs a lot of work. But like I said, I got two of them for 20 bucks. I'm just using them as blanks. So I can turn them into um, better swords. I put that in upside down. I'll deal with that later. All right. Oh, um, wait. This table folds down out of the door. Keep my deodorant and toothbrush there. 
Back here is like um, my sink where I brush my teeth and stuff. I use that the running water there. Um, this table I just attached with regular door hinges. It's just popped into, it's screwed into the wood. Um, you know, you can't stand on this thing or anything, but anything else that I need to hold on there, I, it's not a problem. I've got a clamp that I can attach to the table so that I can work on stuff. Um, <coughs> this is just some really good double-sided tape, some paint for, um, I want to paint my bike. I'll show you on my bike real quick. <coughs> it looks like a piece of shit, but it's actually a great little mountain bike. Um, I bought it at the thrift store for 30 bucks, probably the best $30 I ever spent. Um, the problem is I think it's actually stolen because it's spray painted blue. I mean, the paint job on it tells me it's stolen. You know what I mean? But it is a, it's a Trek. 30 bucks, bro. Like, you can't beat it. That's the new seat I just put on. Um, but I like this bike because it looks like a piece of shit, but it's not. You know what I mean? So, um, no, but, like, I don't... The Clearwater, Florida, Florida is pr probably, like, one of the bike-stealing capitals of the world. Lots of bikes get stolen around here. So, I like having a bike that, um, looks like a piece of shit, but is not a piece of shit. Alright, so, let me show you all my tools. Um, just so you got an understanding of the whole thing. That, with the camouflage blanket on it, is the refrigerator. Um... And back behind that is all my, uh, that's my stuff for paper, for writing and drawing. This is actually a toilet that, um, it's collapsible. Very, I mean, such a useful thing. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. So, you know, in an emergency, you got shit and you're in the back of your car, you, you're going to need something like that, which you would think, oh, I don't got to worry about that. Let me tell you something. Um, let me switch. One time, I bought this coconut water, and I'm thinking, oh, this is healthy. It's coconut water. It's got to be good for you. So I'm sitting in my car that night. This was like a year ago. And I had a different portable toilet that I really never really used, but I had it. I drink the coconut water before I go to bed. I'm thinking it's just healthy coconut water. Next thing I know... I mean, you ever seen in Dumb and Dumber when he eats all the laxative and he's got a shit? Like, all of a sudden, it hits him like a ton of bricks and he's, like, about to shit his pants. He has to shit all over that hot girl's toilet. It was like that. Like, it hit me like a bolt of lightning, bro. I was like... <laughs> I mean, it was like you heard my stomach drop or something. It, it's coconut water. I didn't know this, but it's like a laxative. I never bought it again after this. And it hit, it worked on me, bro. I can tell you that much. It, it, like, I had no need to go to the bathroom. Like, you know, I drank some coconut water. Five minutes later, it, I was struggling to get that friggin' toilet down before I shit all over the inside of my car. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a portable toilet. It's badass, bro. Um, on another video, I'll, I'll show y'all, like, the details of everything. This is a military poncho liner. Wait, let me zoom this out. Oh, that is so much better, bro. Man, I should have been filming the whole thing. Anyways, that's a military poncho liner. That is called a Swagman Roll. It's basically an advanced military poncho liner. It's like my summer sleeping bag. This is a Sea to Summit sleeping pad, which is inflatable. It's deflated right now. Um, and uh, this is what you wrap samurai sword handles in it's called suka i think um and i'll be wrapping my handles in those once i cut the wood and all that um all right so let me show y'all where i keep my other tools my power tools stay up front um well first i'll show y'all under the hold on first i'll show y'all under the bed I'll pull my pants up so i don't look like a degenerate all right um, so, the bed goes up, and there's a bunch of stuff stored under it. Now, now, 
Oh, here's the, these are the curtains for when I'm sleeping. I got them off Amazon cheap, too. So, the bed goes up, but you need something to hold it up so you, you don't have it falling on your head when you're under there. Um, let me show you something else again real quick. See, if I don't show you these things as I think of them, I'll forget and they won't make it in the video. So, all of my clothes are up there. That's a homemade cargo net that I made out of bungee cords and paracord and whatever other random shit is tied up there. Now, I keep all my cords wrapped up here so I don't just have a jumble of cords piled everywhere, but so that's for fast charging, that's regular charging on my phone, that, the black one is for my computer, um, this is just a cord ran to keep the computer from falling, there's my computer on top of the generator, um, and then, you know, this is, this is the cord for this fan, um, and then I got another cord for another fan up there. All right, let me show you all my, under my bed now. I haven't even looked under there <laughs> since I put, uh, since I even stuffed everything under there, so it might not be very organized, or it, it might be organized, I don't know. Let's see. Um, but so the bed's gotta go up. So, can y'all see? Hold on. Wait. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna have to just do it like this. So, I've got two little bungee cords that I've got up here that, um, they're just hooked up into the cargo net. And then, they are attached to this, which <clears throat> I had this rigged to my bike when I was homeless, which was helping hold my suitcase my rolling suitcase I used as a trailer on my bike. This was one of the things that was helping hold that all together. I just, I, um, it's just paracord wound up. It's strong. This, th you could probably tow a car with this, honestly. Um, and so, oh yeah, I want to point this out too real quick. This, this shelf that I made is my old portrait sign. I cut it up, painted it black, and carved a shelf out of it. So, that that I, th that I used to be my portrait sign. Um, Alright, let's get under the bed. So, I... Shit. <laughs> I really should have, like, planned this out better. This... It's just, you know, an eye hook that I screwed into there. And the bungee cords are going to hook into that and hold the bed up. So if you're living in a car, feel free to use any of my ideas. I, you know, I'm not like trying to patent any of this or anything. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's how, that's what holds the bed up. Now, currently under the bed is mostly winter clothes. I got a, a stove back there, um, a, a yoga mat if I'm gonna lay on the ground and do push, uh, do crunches or leg lifts or anything. Um, it's mostly just clothes. Let's see, what else? Um, so, this is under the bed from the back seat. That's my um, poncho liner, which was my shelter the whole time I was homeless. There's my stove back there. It's just a propane stove. So there's not much under the bed. It's just storage, you know? So, um, but here's the interesting part. Now, I'll show y'all where I keep my tools. But first, let me show you this. The skateboard has to go before I can lift the tire well to show you all my tools so the skateboard hold on let me move this um i installed these to hold the skateboard up and uh, there's another one there so that holds the skateboard in 
Now the skateboard's out. Th this is a cool looking skateboard though, ain't it? I mean, look at that. Oh, let me get out of the light. Can y'all see that? I can't see shit because my phone is filthy. But yeah, really cool skateboard, Jeremy Nibs. Uh, it's called the Alchemist. So then, when the skateboard's gone, I got these lines in here to hold my stuff back so it doesn't just fall. So, let, let me show y'all how I get at my tools. All right, you can see that. So, this is the spare tire wheel. I lift this, and then this holds it up. Um, and this is actually a tape that you can put outside, but I never use it. I got plenty of like countertops and tabletops. And here's all my tools. I'm gonna use some of this in a little while. I'm gonna take it out now. Um, so it's kind of an unorganized mess right now, but uh, so. Man, that reflection is killing me. Uh, WD-40 zip ties, hatchet. Uh, there's my hammer, Vaughn. It's a framing hammer, good, good hammer. I mean, if you, if unless you're gonna spend a hundred or hundreds of dollars, this is the best hammer you can get for a reasonable price. I think the it's called the Vaughn California Framer. And it is, I think it's like 30 bucks, but unless, unless you're willing to spend all the money and get like the stilettos and the Martinez's and shit, that, you ain't gonna do no better than that. Um, East Wing Hatchet, um, two foot level, all my bits, grinder blades, uh, this is everything for like, screwing stuff and it, it attachments for my grinder and shit um it's all for working uh, oh these are all my clamps um carpentry tools files chisels squares all that shit um and saws over here uh saws all blades in here um and just random shit. Wire is always good to have. You saw I made my sword holder with the wire. I made the holder that holds the skateboard in with the wire. Um, there's my charger for my power tools. Uh, Velcro tape. Um, gaff tape. Grip tape. Whatever you want to call it. Um, this stuff is so useful, dude. It's, it, it's just Velcro. You see how it kind of sticks on itself? But you can cut strip pieces of this and wrap things and it holds it. It's such a good thing to have. Um, it feels, I feel, there's a little moisture in here so I'm gonna leave this open and let it air out. Um, thinking if that's gonna hinder me showing y'all anything else. I don't think it will, but we'll see what happens, so. Um, let me show y'all the other storage spots I made. Man, this video is gonna be long, so... Oh, this is cool. Hold up. I gotta move my seat. I'm gonna put y'all right here real quick. And, uh, you can look in the back while I do this real quick. Hold up. I gotta push my seat up to show y'all this thing. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> That's not a very interesting view you got. All right, now, so, look at my knife rack, bro. Isn't that cool? Um, this is my, I, I put like a samurai wrap on it. Japanese chef knife. Um, my every, I cook, I cut my steak. This is my knife for eating. That's my knife for chopping. This came with this knife, so I just have it. I don't need to butcher knives, but I do. Just because I'm not throwing that out. I made a nice handle on it, too. So I don't want to just throw it out. 
you know, all that shit for cooking. And then I'm a huge fan of Snapple peach iced tea. It's the only thing I drink besides coffee. Um, we've got some Frappuccinos. Um, this goes up. I got more Snapple in there. I, I refuse to run out of Snapple, bro. That ain't happening. Uh, there's my vacuum. Um, uh, there's, you know, my bed. Um, so, hold up. I showed y'all all this, right? Solar panel up there. Let's see. I don't remember what number my charger was on. I think it was 60-something. What is it now? 70. So, you can get an idea how fast that's charging off that portable panel. It's It charges fast. Uh, let me show y'all this, too. So, this goes up. It's held in place with a I cut you know a little piece of wire is so useful bro um paper plates here oh my air fryer which I have cooked on it off the generator so this it's a screw and the copper wire is wrapped around you know but so when I want to when I want to lift this I do that and then this goes into that hook and stays up you know what i mean so i can get into my refrigerator which there's my refrigerator so everything i got in there um but so i can access the refrigerator from inside or outside and then when i put that back i just make sure that hooks onto there this way, this thing doesn't go falling if I hit the brakes or moving around. But like I said, I got to cut a little bit and shift everything back about a half an inch. But I ain't doing that today, so... Oh, my bike on the bike rack, which is just hanging on the, the spare tire, basically. It, it, it's, it's, it's a good little bike rack that I got. Um, there's my pillows hold up yeah my shit it's, i don't have the nicest uh pillowcases um but now this part of the bed lifts up too and i'll show oh there's my shovel these world war ii shovels are just good to have i mean you know a regular size shovel is better but a small shovel is better than no shovel here's why because it's one of those things that you can't just go carve one out of wood real quick. You can carve one out of wood. It's going to take you a long time. And it's probably going to break within a couple of hours. So it's like a pair of pliers. There's certain tools that you, you can't just make them. You can make them, but you're going to make shitty ones. And they're not going to work right. So you got to buy them. So a shovel, pliers, things like that. You got to carry that type of shit with you, in my opinion. So... This bed, this part of the bed folds up, hold on, like that, and there's more storage in there. Um, the legs are hinged, so, can y'all see that? I can't see shit with the reflection, dude. But they're hinged, so I can fold the bed up. Um... Hold on. God. That is a chair. That's the hose for my stove. This. Hold on. God damn, boy. Wait a minute. That is my magical Von B's honey, which gives me magical powers. I mix it with water and make tea. I got the citron ginger honey. So I put three, four spoons of that and a bottle of water and it makes magical ninja tea which gives you superpowers and stops you from aging um none of that's true probably but it's good it's good tea it's healthy um i was sick recently i drank my ginger citron tea and uh it helped out a lot um there's fuel for my oven i am a prepper bro you know what i mean when i see a bottle of butane for sale and then I see a box of it for sale for not much more I'm buying the box you know what I mean um, 
so that's everything in this section behind the seat it's just more storage um there's my pots and pans water filtration in that net um a couple mountain house emergency food i would like to have more emergency food but that's what it that's where my supply is right now i've had to eat some of it <laughs> over the years and stuff so i need to up my supply hold on let me put y'all somewhere and so it i need two hands to put my um bed back down so i'll put y'all there let's see if y'all can see oh, you can't really see shit no matter um Um, and here I just keep a pair of flip flops when I don't want to put my shoes on I gotta run outside and do something uh, these I use for trash bags um, you know just grocery bags there's my garbage up front you know that's I already showed y'all the front there's nothing really not nothing to see really so Oh, this is um, my dirty laundry, which needs to be clean. Oh, this, there's my cordless skill saw. Uh, I gotta say, I, I almost wish I got the Milwaukee, or the Makita cordless skill saw, but it's like, I don't want to have five different chargers and 50 different batteries. Uh, the Milwaukee hammer drill, sawzall, and grinder are the best in my opinion, but as far as cordless skill saws, I think Makita's... A little better than Milwaukee um, but I guess that's about it I know when I watch this video I'll find hold on let me, let me put y'all down for a minute hold on I'll be back one second I gotta readjust my seat hold on let me get a sip of water real quick bro it's so damn hot down here Y'all can watch me, uh, watch how I get water out of my fridge. Hold up. So where I keep the water in the fridge, it kind of freezes. So. Nice and cold. It's half ice. Um, oh, I didn't show y'all this. Hold up. Let me show y'all real quick where I keep. So, this is all my drawing and stuff like that. Precision files, X-Acto knives, things for carving. This is all my precision shit. Drawing, um, maybe one day I'll do a video and just show y'all. These are my drawing pens and pencils, um, and I'll show y'all all my drawing stuff. If you go on my Instagram, joey.the.gypsy, all one word, you'll see uh, my latest drawing, which is just a food dog. There's my busted ass wallet. I need a new wallet. Um, these colored pencils are really good. They're actually watercolor paint. You can mix them with water and they turn into paint. Um, ink for my fountain pen stuff for uh sculpting with clay which i'm really good at sculpting things out of clay um but when i'm chilling in my car i'm usually sitting right about here my laptop is sitting right about here and i'm either playing video games or you know watching something or whatever but this is the view when you're in here chilling the bed is up right now because the tools are i, I want them to air out um there's my portable toilet which a really useful thing to have um generator one generator two uh there's all my stuff my clothes oh there's this ring light that i got which is clamped to my um shelf thing so i guess that is the tour oh my fox fur badass hat sits on the seat over there uh one of my favorite things i own is my badass fox fur hat 
Um, so, I don't know. I guess I showed y'all, if not everything, most of it. Hold up. Um, wait. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I don't think I did. But that's how hot it is down here in Florida, man. You're gonna sweat just existing. Um, and you know, people like, how do you handle the heat? Like, I don't know, bro. You just adjust to it. <laughs> like, how did people handle it for thousands of years before AC was ever invented? That's how I handle it. <laughs> I'm a primitive monkey person. It doesn't bother me. I, 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 it just doesn't bother me. So, I guess that's the end of this one. Now, I, ju I just wish I could remember the video I wanted to make that prompted me to do this one real quick because I had a really good idea for a video and now I can't remember it. It'll come back to me at sooner or later. It could be tomorrow, it could be five years from now, but that video will, will come out sooner or later. So, um... I guess that's the end of this one. I appreciate every single one of y'all. If you want to see my drawing of the food dog, it is on Instagram, Joey the Gypsy, with dots in between the words. But it's all like one word. There's no spaces or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think that's the end of this one. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I appreciate the algorithm for bringing y'all to me. I appreciate y'all subbing, liking, commenting. And, uh, I do appreciate the people who talk shit, too. Although y'all fucking annoy the shit out of me, I do appreciate the attention. And, uh, you know, if that's what you want to do is talk shit to me, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I try not to respond to them because I have, uh, low tolerance for the pe people who upset me. Y'all see the cats chilling? Over there, there's, that one's got like the pattern of a cow on them. Um, there's cats all over them. But anyways, yeah, appreciate y'all. If you want to um, see some other interesting stuff, go on my Patreon or my other YouTube channel, which my life is just now getting back together so hopefully I can get to working on my other channel again because that channel is more fun to me. Like, well, that channel is more recreational for me. I like doing all my videos. It's None of it is really, like, something I don't... I like to do at all. It's all fun to me. But that channel is more revolved around um, entertaining things like movies and video games and other things that I want to put up on that channel. That channel... Ho hopefully in the near future I'll be able to work on that channel again because there's I have a lot of plans for it anyways appreciate every single one of y'all if you got any ideas for improvements I'm all ears um, and uh, I guess that's about it tell me what you think in the comments I will see y'all on the next one everybody have a good one